Hello, um, today I am going to install Magic Lantern on my Canon T4i. Magic Lantern stands for ML. A lot of times you'll read forums and they'll just go ahead and use the initial ML, that which means Magic Lantern. Um, today's the first day I read about Magic Lantern actually, and it's my first time to install Magic Lantern, so let's see how that goes. Uh, but what Magic Lantern is, basically in a nutshell, it makes uh it's open source software and actually open source firmware and uh it basically makes your canon dslr uh a lot more powerful it's like your camera on steroids uh so let's uh let's uh look at the feature tab on feature tab right here it goes over all the features with what that magic lantern can do but uh, if you keep on scrolling down, you can see what state of Magic Lantern does it support on your camera. So for the Canon, well, before we go there, look, um, if it's orange, it's beta, blue means it's supported uh, and stable, and if it's uh, brown, I mean not brown, if it's gray, it's uh, not supported at all. So if you have a Canon 5D Mark III, you can basically see that the core Magic Lantern features that's supported and everything else is in beta which is pretty good for uh, at least everything is uh, uh, is somewhat functional so that's pretty good the most stable um, camera is actually I think other than that one is uh, the, the Rebel T1i and T2i and uh, T3i as you can see they have uh, two functionalities um, that are uh, in full function and the uh, video recording is in beta so a lot of uh, according to what I've read a lot of people actually like to use a T2i and a T3i <coughs> with a magic lantern so I have a T4i and as you can see T4i two things are in beta the core is in beta and then video mode is also in beta and I cannot record audio so I'm gonna try it out and see how it works so let's scroll all the way back to the top let's look at downloads now if you have the uh, 5D Mark II, 50D, 60D and so forth with the following Canon firmware then you can download their stable release version 2.3 just click download and then you'll have the firmware downloaded on your computer so as you can see I do not have the T4 I mean it, it, they don't have T4i on here as an option well that means that I have to use some of their beta um, firmware they call it uh, nightly builds and you can read more about it but there's a button uh, to click on to download uh, these uh, these uh, test builds. So let's uh, go ahead and go ahead and try that. I clicked on it right here. Uh, I can select and go through these options. So my camera is the T4i, which is the same thing as the 650D, and the firmware version is. Uh, 1.0.4 so let's click on that and I'm going to download it and save it onto my computer so it's saved alright so how do I check the firmware version of my own uh, Canon camera uh, for my T4i and actually a lot of uh, rebels are the same way as first you want to turn your dial to manual after that turn it on once it's on just go ahead and go to menu now you can see that there's a lot more uh, options you can go through if you didn't have it on manual you wouldn't have all these options that pop populated so go to the uh, uh, fourth wrench with four dots on the top corner and then you can see firmware version so mine is firm, firm, firmware version 1.0.1 
So after you download the uh, Magic Lantern version that you want and you've updated your camera to the latest firmware that Magic Lantern supports, um, now I want to install it onto my camera. So let's go over to the support tab under install guide and down here is, uh, gives you step by step how do you install it. It's pretty straightforward. Basically, have a 32 gig or smaller SD card. Um, put your camera in manual mode M, and then uh, put the file onto your root directory, and then do a firmware update. So let's go ahead and try that. So in order to format, first turn on camera, click on menu, and you want to go to the wrench with the first dot. Click on set to select format card, and then you want low level format and click OK with set again. There you go, that's how you format. So now I found out that um, after going to Magic Lanterns of Forms that, um, first of all I have to install this uh, uh, initial package that has a um, firmware update for my uh, T4i before I can install all of the newer versions of uh, Magic Lantern onto my camera. So um, first click on this link right here to download Magic Lantern uh, firmware um, and then just basically follow these steps which is so here we go so basically here is a uh, I've already done a low level format I'm gonna run this real quick these two are unchecked and I'm just gonna save it says write successful I'm done and then I'm going to Grab this whole thing, move it over here. And as you can see, this has a 650D.104. Installer point firmware. That's what I need to use to install on my Canon T4i. So Alright, so here we go. I have it on M, have the card ready, stick it in, close that up, turn it on, okay, so menu, first let's uh, clear settings, uh, clear our camera settings, okay, after I'm done with that, I want to do a firmware update, click OK, so now I need to restart my camera, turn it off, turn it back on again. So right now what I want to do is um, I want to delete um, in my SD card the auto exec bin, the firmware file, and the ML folder. And I want to replace it all with um, the latest Magic Lantern that I downloaded earlier. So let's copy this over. And that's it. Now let's try it. So here we go. Let's insert the card with the latest uh, uh, Magic Lantern on it. Turn it on. And as you can see right here it says Magic Lantern uh, version 2.3. 2004, February 8th, so it's loaded on there, um, and I guess I'll try out the functionalities. 
Now, in order to go into uh, Magic Lantern mode, you have to press the trash button, and it switches over. And if you press, uh, now you can go through Magic Lantern's options and video mode. Um, and if you want to go back to Cannon's mode, just press the trash button again. That's how you flip back and forth. Okay, let's say you want to remove Magic Lantern. What do you do? Again, dialed in manual mode. Let's turn this on. Menu. Let's go over to Format. Okay, Format Card. When I select it now, you can see that it says Format Card, but keep uh, Magic Lantern Q. So by pressing Q, I can select if I want to remove Magic Lantern or not. So Format Card, remove Magic Lantern. I'm going to go ahead and uh, do a low level format. Select that. And then click OK. Alright, turn it off. Turn it off back again. Uh, yes, as you can see, it's uh, back to normal now.